In this video, I use a drop shot to fish deep structure in San Diego Bay. I catch spotted bay bass, calico bass, and barred sand bass for the California salty bass trifecta. And we even catch a halibut. That's coming up, so stay tuned. Hey, it's Roman Castro. Welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here and you enjoy the adventures that fishing often leads lead us to, uh, consider subscribing and hit that bell notification so you don't miss anything. In this video, we went kayak fishing in San Diego Bay. I used primarily a drop shot to get to deep structure. If you're new to fishing and you want to see exactly the rig I used to fish in this video, stay tuned to the very end and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Alright, let's get into the fishing. Here he is, kayak fishing San Diego Bay with my friend John. Let's go. We're here in San Diego Bay. This is J Alfonso underscore 619 on Instagram. What's up guys? John. Uh, we're fishing San Diego Bay today and it's going to be a blast. He just started a channel, right? Yeah. I'll link him at the end of this video. He'll okay, have his little logo on this. You guys can go subscribe to his channel, see what's up, and uh, help him grow. Support other San Diego fishermen. All right, let's go fish. Calico pirate. Oh man, that's crazy. Well, let's get back in the water so you can live to catch more fish with this one eye. Woo. Now we just need a sand bass to make the trifecta happen. Woo. Here's where you get pulled and, and broken off this little area. Yeah. There it is. Oh yeah, he's coming out. I was in reverse, right? Oh man, here he is. This is a guy pulling drag. Oh man. Oh, there it is. Oh, this is gonna be a good one. I was ready for him this time. <laughs> He's coming out. Oh yeah. Oh man, this guy's a little, a little uh, sand bass for the trifecta. Woo! There he is. There's a sandy for the San Diego Bay, Bay Bass Trifecta. Calico, Spotted Bay Bass, and Sand, sand Bass here. Barred, barred Sand Bass. Ooh, here it goes. Yeah! yeah. Big one? Good. Oh, it's got a bit too. Double! <laughs> Calico. What'd you get? Calico. Nice. Alright, there you go, double calico. John pulled up a calico too. Woohoo! 
Oh, look at this wave! Oh! How's that for a release? Sand bass. I think it's about maybe 14. Let's see. Oh, yeah, he's like 15. Top of the mouth is touching. Tails are about 15. Woohoo! 15 inch sand bass. There it is. Release. I missed this epic bite. First cast on this little area we tried out. Uh, it dropped for like around 10 feet and this guy just smashed it. So a little sand, little sand bass. Oh man, it sucks I missed it. Ah! Oh! Oh, I'm back, I'm back. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> oh, a hell of it. Nice halibut, see? It's a little halibut, but it's a halibut. That counts. Let's see, let's see if we can land this guy without destroying my pants. <laughs> oh! Dang! That thing can fight. Oh! <laughs> I saw my fins and freaked out. I think it's so strong for such a small halibut, dude. Man. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to shower. I just took a shower. All right, let's land this thing before it gets in my car. Wait, I guess we completely soaked. There he is. Woo -woo. He is about 19. <laughs> 19, yeah. So close. Yet so far. There it is. Oh. <laughs> oh, there he goes. For the release. <laughs> Dude, I love Halibut, they release themselves. Oh yeah, come and get it. Oh, that's a little one. Oh, little guy. Little buddy. Satisfying, satisfying 
splash. All right, that was a super fun outing. Thanks for heading out there with me, John. Right, I'm gonna show you how to set up this drop shot, but if you already know how to set up this drop shot and you wanna check out more San Diego Bay fishing action, check out how I deal with the underspin in San Diego Bay. So I'll put a YouTube card for it up here. Now let's get into the rigging. Okay, so for the rigging, I used 30 pound spider wire, Invisibraid, Ultracast. This is braid. Most people fish braid, they put a leader on it, but I use straight braid for this setup. Since it's deep and it's around structure, uh, there's fish, I want to feel the fish as soon as it bites, I want to tug on it as hard as I can without fearing uh, snapping a, a leader. So that's going to give me the advantage of being able to pull the fish out of the structure before it has time to wrap around any structure. So this is why I fish straight braid. Okay, so you're going to need an uh, extra wide gap worm hook. You're going to need a one ounce torpedo sinker. This is a three ounce torpedo sinker, just bigger for you guys to see. This is a three ounce, but you're gonna need the one ounce. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna stand up so you have a background against to see this white line. And the side of the line that's connected to your fishing rod and reel, that's called the main line. And the side that's just hanging, that's called the tag line, okay? So that's the tag line, this is the main line. Okay, that's how we, how we orient ourselves for this setup. Okay, so you're gonna start off with a tag line here. And you're gonna put, you're gonna get the extra wide gap hook. I'm going to make it so that the line goes in the same side as the hook is facing. Okay? So the tag line goes in there, and then it, you, you put it all the way through, and you bring it back the same direction. See that? So you bring it back the same direction. You don't go around this way. That's wrong. You go in through the same side it came out, and you bring it back, okay? If you were at this point, if you were to pull the tag, it would completely slip out. See? So we're back to here. Hold on to your tag so it doesn't go through, and pull some extra line through. Okay. Then I pinch it here. I pinch it on the side where the tag line is coming out and then basically you pull the rest of the line to make it it's still it's a loop basically but you make it straight so you can use it to tie a regular palomar knot which is here okay just a regular it's basically a, a an overhand knot with a loop see right there and you don't make it too tight, you just get it there, like about there. And then you take the hook and put it through the loop that you have over here. Okay. And then you start, and you pull the tag line because when you pull the tag line, it's going to give you a longer tag where you're going to attach the weight. So let's give it a good pull. You want about 12 inches or like a foot. Of tagline, okay. That's how that's how far you want the weight to be from the hook when it's in the water. But you still need some room to tie the weight on, so you're gonna pull a little bit more, like about a foot and a half. And then back here, the loop's gonna start getting smaller and smaller. Make sure that this loop goes all the way to the top, and then you pull all the way through. At this point, I was gonna pull from the tagline still, and there's gonna get smaller and smaller, and that's done. Okay, you have a polymer knot to the extra wide gap hook. Next, you're going to take the tag end, so the tag end, and you're going to put it through with the hook facing up. You're going to pull the tag, and you're going to put it from the top to the bottom through that same eyelet on the hook. Okay, this is important because it's going to make your it's gonna make your hook be up when it's on the when it's floating on the line. Your hook's gonna face up instead of maybe sideways or down, which won't help you on the hook set. You wanna have it facing up. So that's why you put the tag in through the loop going down with the hook facing up. So when you have the weight, it's floating like this with the with the hook up. See that? Okay. That's it. Now you have a a tail a tag of about I don't know. A foot and I don't know, like a, about a foot and six inches, a foot and a half. 
So you're basically going to use that half that half foot to uh, tie another Palomar knot around your around your torpedo weight. One ounce torpedo weight. This is a three ounce, just because it's bigger and easier for you guys to see. But it's going to be a one ounce that you tie for your setup. So you basically do the same thing. You don't want to tie any other kind of knot for the setup because braid will slip. So you want to tie a Palomar knot. Okay. Okay. There's your overhand knot. And don't cinch it don't cinch it down all the way yet. We gotta make sure you pick this loop and you put the weight through it. And then see how the, the weight is so close to the hook? You wanna pull on the main line so that the knot gets smaller, and as the knot gets smaller, it'll give you some line back, see? So there's uh, about a foot right there. Once you get to the distance you want, about a foot, then you go pull on the tag end, and that'll shrink down the loop without without making this line longer. So let's pull on the tag end. Okay. There it is. So now your your hook is about a foot away from your weight. And when you and when you drop it, your hook points up, not sideways or down because you put that loop through, loop through okay so that's it that's the drop shot setup now when you set up now you're gonna hook up your your fluke this is a Z, this is a zoom fluke this is called a Texas rig you basically want your your hook to be inside the bait this way so first you want to you want to go into the bait from the front this much so about a quarter inch because that's where the that's where the gap is right so you go in about a quarter inch and then you turn straight down and you come out the bottom okay and then you put your hook all the way through thread, thread it all the way through and then you flip it over and you push it to the front and now that little fluke is on there happy as can be ready to get bit and then you take the back of the hook and you ballpark it of where it's going to come out I like to put my finger there, be careful put my finger there then I come back and I split the the bait open here and then I put the, you have to bend, the, you, have to, you have to smash the bait so it lines up right otherwise it'll be too it'll be too close to the bottom you smash the, you smash the bait that way so that you can put it right there where it needs, where it needs to come out of the top you go straight down in, and that'll pop it out right there where it needs to be. And you push it through. Okay. It's right there. And then basically it's there, and then once it's up there, you pull the bait forward a little bit to get that tip of the hook back into the bait a little bit so it doesn't get snagged. This is basically that Texas rig fluke on the extra wide gap hook right now you're ready to go when this goes into the water it's going to be floating around with the hook ready to get bit right there when it gets bit it'll push the hook out and snag a fish okay if you if you fish it and you miss a bite and you just check it and you reset it just make sure the, the tip is back in there just to keep it weedless okay this is a really fun fish this is a really fun set up to fish when you're um, in a lot of cover eelgrass and you can also like mess with it you can adjust the length of the of the tag here to the weight to make sure that it floats like right above the eelgrass or it just depends but about a foot is a good a foot to a foot and a half is a good starting point it keeps the fluke floating right above the ground where halibut can attack it or the other, other bass can attack it so anyway that's it Drop shot, Texas rig, fluke. If you want to learn more about fishing and catch more fish, consider subscribing. Click on the round icon to subscribe. Also check out John's new channel. He's new to YouTube, so go give him some love and show him some support. If you enjoyed this video, you might also want to check out the video here below. So have a good day, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Woo!